Hello everybody and welcome back. It's a new session where we're full of vim and vigor and uh, happiness and we're definitely not going to think about how I spent, what was it, 43 minutes wandering around not realizing I had everything I needed. Mm -hmm. That was cool. De definitely. Definitely hey, not embarrassing. Who's this? That's his mama, I'm betting. Oh, pancakes. pancakes. It'd be nice if the image wasn't, like, blown out as it's fuck. It's a dream, Jay. I know, but still, like, God, it's blown out. Nom, 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 nom. It's not blown out. It's not colored in, Jay. I love pancakes. It's been way too long since I've had pancakes. We, we have pancake mix in the kitchen. I could go and make pancakes right now, but I don't for some reason. And I need to fix that. Jerry Cola? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yeah. She made me pancakes. I know, I'm fucking jealous, dude. I, I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. Oh, yours favorite is pancakes? Mine's pizza. What's yours, Em? Enchiladas. Oh, that's a good choice. My my uh my stepmom and it's my green uncle, sauce specifically. They they make some great chorizo enchiladas. Ooh, it's so fucking good. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? No, I am ageless. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes, I do like pancakes. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. God damn, kid. That's a He's proper... A child, Jerry. God, that's... God damn. That is impressive. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't throw up. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the Debatable. neighbors make really good noodles. And, oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of wheat-based food, which makes sense, because you're oh, surrounded yeah. by wheat fields. Do you have any neighbors? Yeah. Oh, uh, do they share their food with you? Sometimes. My my neighbor Anna, she makes some really good Mexican food, and, like, on Thanksgiving, she'll, she'll just send over a plate of, like, her, uh... She makes turkey enchiladas, and it's really fucking good. Oh, you I had a uh, camote? I don't think so. What's camote again? I might have had it, I just don't remember the name. I, I just don't sweet potatoes? Uh, no, she did not make sweet potatoes, but she. It, it was really good, like, enchilada turkey with uh, rice and beans. I'd be interested in trying camote, though. That sounds good. Yeah, it's just a big sweet potato. Yum. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Oh, cool. So it's like a it's like a community potluck kind of thing. Except one person doing everything. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. It takes a village. I, I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. Uh, I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Oh, definitely. Uh, 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 speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. You're right, Nico. Let's go see this through, buddy, and then maybe we can get you home. Alright, go slap that button in the thing. And... Slip it a slap! Hmm. Oh, right. Uh, damn it. Ground. Let's hope this works. By the power of magnets! Oh, no, oh. It's magic. You know. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The, the squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door in... Oh, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Jerry Cola. Alright then. Right, we have the code. 63014. 
Hooray! What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works! Uh, it, good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Jerry Koa, too. And I had, <laughs> I had help, help from, from him. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go. I'll be up ahead. Well, I don't have any reason to stick around, so... Oh, fuck. You think I should have checked on the plant? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door open for me, mister. No problem. Hop in. I hope I didn't fuck up the kernel business. I, mean, I think it'll be fine, because you put dirt and you put water. I don't know, maybe it needed sunlight or something. Well, Jerry, there is no sunlight. We have the sun in our hand! You tried that, Jerry. It did nothing. <laughs> sure is taking a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in the elevator with the Messiah, who is also literally God himself. This is awkward. <laughs> oh, and also God himself. Yeah, I'm here too, bud. Thanks. Oh, maybe we can check to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Jerry Cola, should I. Ask about. Is in awkward silence? <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask about his job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh. I fix lights mostly. But now I also deliver and refill, refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of this city stuff. Ooh! We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. They seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Actually, that's something that can be proven. If you look up the uh, the National Pizza Index of uh, the United States, you can see when a national crisis is coming. Because that's when the government employees hold themselves up within the building and just keep ordering pizza over and over and over and over as they deal with whatever's coming. Wild shit. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, Jerry Cola, should I... <laughs> Just ask about his shelf again. Nah, uh, ask about the city. This city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there was refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folk are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. Uh, that square stuff we just saw? We got more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Jerry Cola, should I ask about the library? Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart to yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Jerry Cole. Yay! Validation! Yeah. I heard that. You will not be forgiven. <laughs> Jerry Cola will remember that. <laughs> we should play some Telltale games, that'd be fun. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico! Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. And he just uh, sprints off. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Jerry Cola. People are counting on us. Let's go find the library. You there, robot. Beep boop. Beep boop. Oh. How dare you. Man in a hat. Sigh. 
You all right? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think I need to jump? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm 12, so... You, I, you can fix the world with the sun. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Jerry Cola. After all, Jerry Cola helped me get this far. I'll take your faith for an answer then. Jerry Cola, should I jump? No! <laughs> what do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Cool! Vague non-answer! Array! Religion is the way! <laughs> the power of religion! We gave you whatever answer it was. Now it's up to you to decide if it was the right one. <laughs> oh, hey, arrows. Wow, this built. Oh. Oh, no. Bullhead. <laughs> oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? So I heard something about how square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I'm going to take advantage of the running water while I still can. It's a big fish tank. So let's see, feather, amber, weird film, tube of water. Right, I still have that. Okay. You think I should go for the arrows? Oh, it's probably progress. Oh, ah, dear. Dark Alley. This is not progress. It's a trash bin. No, oh, no. I can see a past life. I was the nine-tailed fox! Oh my god! <laughs> Jerry Cola, did you see what happened? Yeah. Yeah? My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something? Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. I don't know, man. Bag full of trash. Gross! Trash bin. Trash bin. Maybe this is progress. Trash bin. Oh, okay, so there's, it's just, alright. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, what the hell, why are the bags on the side and not in the trash bins? I just... You'd think so, right? Like, those trash bins are empty, look at them. Yeah. Faded flyer, nothing. Okay, this one has words. <sighs> or not. They had words, Jerry, it's faded now. For a good time called, huh? Oh, this surely isn't a sign of something. Lamp? Here's marking a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was a good idea, Jay. I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Trophy, secret. Uh, uh, Alright, click on the thing, Jay. Click on the thing. Bah! One of them has a tattoo, Jay. Look at the left there. This ram doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word bah is written on its wall. Now, that one isn't a ram. That one is read only. <laughs> Computer joke. Yeah. Seeker <laughs> Ram Club. Jeez. It's uh, good to see you, too. So, we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Uh, yes, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Ah! <laughs> okay. An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Oh, right. It's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of... Ramen. Hey, there it is. I'll pass. It's just a seeming hot bowl of fucking ram noodles. Oh. Like wool. That's cool. Alright, so is there anything else I can do to talk to you? Uh... 
If Rams wore shoes, they would have flip-flops. I don't get it. Terraflops, maybe? I don't know. I used to host the official Ram Club wiki site. But we kept having page faults due to Rams getting out of the server room. <laughs> what? 404, Ram not found. I, I have no idea what any of that meant. Hmm, <sighs> I guess that's it for my jokes. It cannot be helped. They were quite bad. I got that one! Hey, hey friend! Yeah. Shepherd. Shepherd. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, this was worth, this was worth the trip, I gotta say. <laughs> I fucking told you it was a good idea to get that. Oh my! Ooh. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, he's got cats. Jeez. Yay! You wanna be in or should I? Uh, you can be in. Right. Oh, I can't. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Jerry Cole to guide me. I there see. There we go. Sorry if you heard that crackling. I did not. Okay, good. It's warm here. Yeah. This is my original purpose. I am a space heater. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. <sighs> oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Jerry Cole and I got stuff to do. I see. Oh, kitties. Kitties. Oh, I love kitties. So, where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. I felt kind of... bad. With robots, it is alright. <coughs> We're not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. <coughs> Was it the shepherd? I see. You've been here for a while. Are you sure you don't wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering, though. Hey! Yay, new friend! Kelvin. Kelvin. Ah. <laughs> Temperature joke. Okay, cool. Bye, Kelvin. How nice. All right, so I assume this is progress, but let's let's just take a look. What? Well, hey, circuit's going downwards. Right. Hold up, go to the left. Oh fuck. Oh. Ah. Lamp lamp lighter. Lighter. Good call, him. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, hey. It's a big book. The title says. Understanding robots. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Jerry Cole, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Oh, I didn't. Hey, they're actually pretty light. I didn't think we were gonna take it. I just wanted to look at it. But... Stolen. <laughs> Charcoal red. Empty glass jar. The handle on this one looks broken. Ah, these are dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. A concave lens, a thin... Oh, God. Ah, I see. Oh, Puzzles. no. Oh, no. 
A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.